In this video, we'll discuss other areas of the EAN Suppliers app. If you look the whole way to the left-hand side of the app, you'll see a number of icons that'll give you additional functionality. The first one is QML, which is the Qualified Manufacturers list. Clicking on this, you'll come to the QML application. There are filters on the left-hand side that you can use to limit the results that you get on the right-hand side. So you can filter by program, commodity, merit, expiry, country, district, state, or province, scope, and subscope. The next icon down is the QPL, which is the Qualified Products list. At the time of this recording, the QPL is still being refined. The next icon is for Resources. Clicking on Resources will take you to the Documents Library. This is where you can find the program documents, operating procedures, audit criteria, meeting information, as well as other information pertaining to NADCAP and eAuditNet. Additionally, you can access corporate family subscriptions and mandates, and coming soon will be the T Form 1111. To get to documents, click on the arrows next to the folders that you want to open. When you click on a folder, the documents that are under that folder will appear on the right hand side. For each document, you can click on the verlipses and click download to save a copy to your local computer. The last icon we'll take a look at is the feedback icon. Clicking on this icon will cause a window to appear in the middle of the screen. This is where you type your feedback and attach any files that you might want to include. This feedback goes to the support team. Please be aware, uh, while our support team welcomes your usability feedback for the supplier app, it is not recommended to submit audit, NCR, advisory, or ballot responses. That concludes this video at this time. I want to thank you for taking the time to view it. Be on the lookout for more uh, of these videos to appear on our YouTube channel as we build them. Thank you again. Have a great day.